poppin what is good everyone this is your boy brumal and we are back with more trails in the sky so i had to grind up to get um to get chloe the right ornament set i need i needed for her to have a ep an ep2 to give her more um you know well yeah give her more ep and uh yeah so we're gonna tackle sephiro tower um this is going to be interesting um, I will be using a guide for this tower because there's no mini map and I may get lost. So, yeah. Um, so, there's going to be a lot of pauses in between me talking and all that. Oh, but well, we got a new enemy type. We fought this enemy before, but I think this is just a regular one now. Uh, let's see. You guys are all allergic to the same thing. As much as I want to use White Gehenna, I want to save a lot of our arts and it sucks because oh boy has oh man yeah, i think hellgate would be nice and then oh girl can use uh white gehenna now everyone can use white gehenna so that's cool i probably should have focused everyone um on one person we just, we just gotta see how strong these guys are not that strong okay well no he got a critical so, yeah, so we're good. I say we're only fighting each enemy one time, and that's too bad. Ooh, 12 experience. I may find, I finally found a grinding spot. Monster carapace, firefly fungus. Cool, cool. So we found a, we found a nice grinding spot. So this one just says, go north up the stairs. All right, then. Uh, now we need to go south to the center platform, then southwest first. Go south and then southwest. Oh wow! Didn't mean to do that. I was not expecting that butt whooping. All right, let me go ahead and heal. Oh crap, I healed 2,000. I didn't need to do that. Um, it said go south and then where? And southwest first. Southwest. Here we go. Okay. Follow. Go up the stairs. Okay. East. Then go up the stairs. Go west and fork up the stairs. West, fork up the stairs. Then it says, go northwest at the fork. And there's a monster chest right here. <laughs> they, wish, they wish for us to save. Monsters have to... Oh, this is easy. They're grouped up. You already know what to do. We use our strongest art. That art of of just pure evil. Y'all preparing? Y'all about to hit Chloe? Y'all trash. Y'all trying to hit Estelle? Garbage. Y'all trying to... Ooh, someone's getting hit double. Um, Don't know if this is going to kill. But we finna see. Oh yeah, we're it's easy. It's done. White Gehenna is cheating. <laughs> White Gehenna is cheating. Well, we didn't have to do nothing. That's right, Estelle. 30. Oh, two level ups. Level 19. Let's get it. Let's go. Estelle learned Comet. All right, nice. Uh, we found some army boots. Let's go ahead and look at this. Oh, you came back. I knew you would. <laughs> Terrible. All right. So we are gonna put these boots on our boy. 
All right, so we do that. All right, so we're going to save again. Another monster chest right here. And we do the same thing. I don't want the bee. Damn. That was an easy one. I just just go by through it really quickly. 1530. All right. Nice, nice, nice. I'm getting more time set with that. So we got the flame burge. Hey, close my lid. What? Were you born in a barn? <laughs> All right, so we got a flame bridge. I think that's a. Uh... Oh yeah, you guys got to see Chloe's um, portrait. Yep. Ooh, flame bridge. The southern at the center. There's nothing to do except. For... So we could take the southern path go to the roof so we can see what's up here i mean nothing's up here of course but hey you guys can see the beach we were probably down there earlier most likely oh look there's the lighthouse that we were at um at one time if you guys remember that with the old guy i'm pretty sure that's the lighthouse over there let me make sure because we're at the tower yeah lighthouse right there wow we travel along the coast that's crazy how far we came I think it's cool that they let you, that they do little stuff like that and add that into um, like, we're taking the southwestern path back downstairs. South. So, western. Western is over there. Oh, this is southwestern. Alright, backtrack, go north to the semicircle. North to the semicircle, here we go. And take the southern eastern path. Go up the stairs. Southern eastern path. Oh, over there. Okay. Oh, where are you guys? We haven't seen you before. Oh, there's a lot of you too. We're gonna use White Gehenna on them to see how strong they are. I'm going to use Chaos Brand on one of them. And you can use Hades Gates on these three. Let's see what happens. So Chaos Brand, I don't know if you guys seen it before, confuses one of them and they'll start attacking their own. Which is a very handy uh spell if the enemy isn't resistant to it oh yeah you guys are free all right well there's that guy he's dead and you're dead too buddy i don't know what the heck you were That's that Let's move out. got eight she got 16 that's fine we got some fire sepith off that. That's good to know. So it looks like we're done with the tower. So guys, um, yeah, there's nothing left for us to get in this tower. And uh, I will meet you guys back in uh, Ruan or wherever the next quest is that's going to be that we're going to take on. So yeah. Okay, guys. So I'm bringing it back up right here because we haven't made it this far yet in the recording. So we're going to go here and see. Oh. We're at Erlitten Checkpoint. Okay, cool, cool. Um, any new guards? Ah, well, it's been noisy in there for a while now. I wonder what's going on. Are we about to find out? Let's see if there's anything else. Any new NPCs? Probably not. All right, well, let's get moving. Get in there. 
Mikkel Mickelson? I don't know how to pronounce that. No, I don't hear anything. Dang it. What's going on? Is the Royal Army really going to just roll over for some bigwig? Um, what are they doing? By the looks of them, I'd say they're just ordinary travelers. However, however, however what? I have to wonder why there isn't a single guard. Now that you mention it, maybe something big is going on. That, I do not know. But I think we should ask a guard when we find one. Sounds good to me. All right. Okay. So we got a lot of um, dialogue that we can do. I guess even a bracer is no match for the upper crust jerk. The future looks very bleak. Can't see anything through the keyhole. I wish someone would do something about this already. Tia. Oh, what an annoying guy. Uh, indeed, they, they're, yeah, there are selfish people in all the, in all walks of life. Sure is noisy outside. Is someone arguing or something? I don't know. We're trying to figure that out ourselves. All right, it's a soldier barracks, probably. Oh, this is the aqueduct area. Okay. Nico Bellic is now playing something. I don't even know how I'm friends with that guy. All right. Uh, so, has his grace changed his mind? He is not. Yeah, he's. Uh, he is not the sort to do so. Once he has decided on something, in light of that, I believe he'll be staying here. Hmm. I see. Then we'll have to wait for the braces to arrive before we can do anything more. I'm afraid so. If it's all well, yeah. If that's all, then I shall take my leave. I wish us luck. Surprised he didn't realize who we were. Huh? I think I know that guy. Oh, it's you. You're Bracers, aren't you? Thank Adios that you came here. In the name of Chief Warren Officer Han. Well, it's nice to meet you. I'm Estelle, Bracer in training. And I'm Joshua, also in training. The bulletin board said that a traveler... Yeah, that a traveler was causing trouble? Yes, I'm afraid so. We do have an unsavory character, and dealing with him is proving most difficult. Do you think you might be able to help us out? Yes. Sure, why not? Well, thank you. You'll be doing us a big favor. Okay, let me fill you in on the details. What's them details, boy? Alright, there's been a little progress to speak of. So, what's with those guys over there? Yeah, they're the victims of the current little issue. The traveler in question is currently in a uh, currently in the dining hall. In the dining hall? Yes, we were hoping that the food would persuade him. Uh, for the sake of the others here. Persuade him? Okay. Just who is this troublesome traveler? Well, to be honest. Hey. You're in charge here, right? You have to do something. Are you just gonna let yeah, this kind of bullying go unchallenged? The Royal Army is supposed to be on the side of the citizens, right? If so, then do something about it. Now hold on, all of you. Calm down, please. I'm sick of being calm. I understand. Just please, take a step back. Joshua, are you okay? I'm... I'm fine. For now, I want you two to check on the dining hall. Okay, we will. Come on, let's go. All right. You got this, Joshua. I enter the crowd here. You check on the dining hall. Everyone, please settle down. The real army is supposed to be on citizens, right? I saw to do something about this. Do something already. Okay, so they're just saying the same thing. So what's going on in here? Caesar. But sir, if you reserve all the rooms and the dining hall, what will you tell the other what will I tell the other guests? Why can't you see where I'm coming from? Your Grace, I feel I must agree with him. Perhaps we should return to Rouen as originally planned. Ugh, quiet, Philip. I like it here. Particularly since it has such a lovely view of the Erlitten's waterfall. 
But sir... Ugh. It had to be you, didn't it? You're that self-centered Duke, uh, that Duke guy from before. Hmm? Well, well. If it isn't the Bracers. Well, you're late. We've been waiting for you. Don't tell me. That the tr that that's your troublesome traveler? Do you see anyone else here? Ugh, fine. It's no wonder we recognize the guy who you were talking to, the chief warrant officer. The Duke, yeah, the Duke there. Hold on one sec. Alright, sorry about that tapping. For reason, I thought that um, the mic on my webcam was being picked up, which I need to unplug that thing. But I don't. Uh, anyways. Duke there says he intends to stay here. He insists he has to rent all the rooms as well as the dining hall. He really is as selfish as selfish can get, isn't he? Oh dear, he is as yeah, he is a troublesome fellow. Royalty or not, what does he expect us to do? Make everyone else go camping? And that's where you come in. Hopefully you can do something to help. Ideally, convince him to go back to Ruan, or give him a little nudge over the fall. <laughs> you want me to- wait, you want me to do that? Isn't tactical no- yeah, you want me to do it? Isn't a tactical negotiation a, no a negotiation a part of your job? We're just soldiers, you know? We train with guns and swords, and negotiating with a sword can be somewhat messy. Now, what makes you think I'm any different? I'm good at hitting stuff, not talking. They usually teach that stuff to someone with the knack for it. Asha was the guy with the silver tongue, not me. But Estelle, we can't just stand by while this is going on. Hmm. Please, even if you can't convince them with your words, there's always your staff. Okay, okay. Ugh, I hate this kind of stuff. Well, I have faith in you, at least. Let me give it to you straight. You can have all the faith in the world, but I don't. So don't get your hopes up. I'm sure you'll do fine. Well, thanks for that. Okay, here goes nothing. Oh, I remember you. Huh. Uh, fancy seeing you here. Right? Where you go, trouble follows, huh? Hmm? Who are you talking to, Philip? Okay, gotta start this off right. Greetings, Your Grace. I'm here to collect you. Huh, collect me? I don't recall ordering someone to do so. And where did you travel from? The mayor's, yeah. The mayor's estate. He asked for me to come, yeah, he asked for me to come here. Ah, I see. That is quite the admirable of him. But I have no desire to return to Rouen on this evening. I've already decided to stay here at Air Lenten. Okay, double or nothing. Gotta change his mind, but make him feel like it was his idea. At this junky old place? Oh yeah, yeah. You really tend to stay at this junky old place? I mean, look around. I don't think this place deserves the business of the next king. Hmm. You declare things that I already know to be true. I never believed this place to be worthy of my presence. It is, however, occasionally interesting to live as the common folk do briefly. Well, I get that. But I don't think they even have a high-class chef here. Not to mention... I'll bet it's not even very sanitary. Ugh. You think so? Yes, now that you bring it to my attention, this place does look a bit on the filthy side. Hmm. I suppose I simply cannot stay at a place such as this. And now for the sales pit. Huh? Your Grace, by your foot! Hmm? What about my foot? Uh, there's a huge cockroach! Uh, Philip! Yes, sir. It's like, where's the roach? Where is it? Hurry up and kill it. <sighs> Surely, sir, you can expect no better from a common peasantry. Why, I'd wager they... Yeah, why, I'd wager they even have monsters infesting the... 
Uh, enough, Philip. We're leaving. Yeah, yes, sir. As you wish, sir. Uh, thank you so much. N nothing to it. I bet you that chef was like, no. I'm saying about me not being a class great, a class A chef. Or is class A even the right word? I don't know. And all because of one magic word. Cockroach. Classic. And she had the guts to say that to his face. Yeah, I needed a good laugh. Huh, really? That's a relief. I'd been worried that we might have to get rough with him. But from what Clint has told yeah, from what Clint has told me, everything seems to have worked out. Oh, uh. Speaking ill of the establish establishment certainly seemed to do the trick, didn't it? Yeah, sorry about that. I didn't see any other way to get him Yeah, to get him other than to tell a little white lie or two. Still, it was unexpected. I didn't know you had it in you to be sneak yeah, to be that sneaky. You never know what I'm capable of when the situation calls for it. To be honest, I just tried to channel Joshua. It certainly seemed like that to me. And if ne and if not, I'd never have been able to do it with a straight face. Hmm. Well, lies come in all shades. You did it to help the others, so I'm sure that Idios will forgive you for it. Yes, we greatly appreciate it. Maybe, yeah, may you, uh, may you be equally as determined in your future duties. Take care. Well then, if you'll excuse us. All right, so now we're here. We got to talk to this guy. Um, uh, Mr. Tobias, we came here from the guild. Oh, this is the maintenance kit. All right, is this about the maintenance kit? No, your timing is ex whatever. I don't know how to pronounce that word. Will you be able to make the delivery post haste? Yes, we will. Ah, this brick of a thing is all yours now. Brick of a thing? Are you daft? I'm telling you it's heavy. Very, very heavy. Here, fill it for yourself. Are you okay with it? No bone fractures forming, to your knowledge. It's filled to the brim with, a re with, replacing, with replacement parts and every tool you can imagine for replacing the ornament light of this size. Well, it's no big deal at all. I'm stronger than I look, believe me. We just need to carry this to the lighthouse, right? Indeed. The Vok of the lighthouse, yeah, the lighthouse keeper, he's expecting it. Its contents are quite valuable, so please be careful as you can. I still can't believe it. Such responsibility, such strength, such grace. Ah, youth. Uh, what? Dean told me about you too, but seeing for myself just how peppy, yeah, just how peppy you are lifts my spirits to the sky. Peppy? No, no, we're just a professional. You're young, that's what you are, and naturally, I was worried in trusting something so valuable to potentially reckless use, but I worry no more. <laughs> we may be young, but that doesn't automatically mean we're reckless. No, 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 you've got it all wrong. I just meant that I wasn't sure how old man Vok would take it. Well, yeah, you got a good point. What, you know Vok? Yeah, we helped him out when, yeah, when he was in a bit of a pickle. Let's just leave it at that, yeah? Ha! Huh. Leave the door, yeah, leave the door open again. Either way, you'll know what I'm talking about, it seems. Just try to understand where he's coming from. Being a lighthouse keeper is lonely work, so a little eccentric, what, little eccentricity? I can't pronounce that word. Is to be expected. The lighthouse is a, yeah, it's crucial for ships uh, to be able to navigate safely so the keeper yeah so the keepers yeah so the keepers work is a very big responsibility gotcha so really important work when he was a fisherman he used yeah he used to down plenty of drinks at Lavantar. but now that he lives in the lighthouse though he rarely gets a chance to have his favorite drink it's pretty sad I'd really like to go ahead and getting him what he wants, but, well, I probably said too much. Either way, we don't let the old man's unpleasantries uh, get to you, okay? Okay, got it. 
Is there anything else we need? Uh, nothing in particular. Once you're done, I'd like for you to return here. Take care. I'll see you later. All right. So before that, we're going to go ahead and get the guy his favorite drink. So yeah. Hey, good to see you. Hmm. Hey, aren't you going to the Verne Lighthouse? That's right. We have to deliver something to Mr. Vok. <laughs> um, the lighthouse keeper. Is that so? I figured as much. From the look of that, yeah, from the look of that bag, the old man went to the lighthouse a long time ago. I guess he's still doing okay. He used to come here a lot, right? Yeah, he was, yeah. He's a fisherman. He loves his drink and loves to gamble. He especially loves a good azalea rose, which is a cocktail made from fruit juice. All right. He's missed around here, around this place. We'd love to see him again, but he never comes down to have a drink. It's a rough job he has. Yeah, sounds like it. Oh, right. So, if it's no trouble, would you mind bringing him one? One what? Why, one of those, yeah, one of those cocktails, seeing as you're heading up the lighthouse and all. I'm not making a formal request or anything. If he gets to be a pain, yeah, if it gets to be a pain to carry, you can just dump it out on your way. So basically, just dropping off supplies, right? Would you mind, Joshua? No, I don't see it being an issue. Huh, you're such a gentleman. Huh, indeed he is. Great. Just take it to the old man. All right. Could certain, yeah, it could certainly use something salty to go with it, but I don't have anything like that right now. The season's great for Minoria specialties, salted anchovies. Ah, well, guess that's the, yeah, I guess it's just a drink for right now. See you later then. Good luck. Thanks. All right, I guess. All right, so we got a new thing. Um, I was looking for the salted anchovies, but I think. This is where I get it from? Huh? Um, are you all with the Bracer Guild? We are. I'm guessing you're Miss Amelia. Oh, that's right. I've been waiting for you. Uh, the assignment said something about an escort. Ah, oh, crap. This is the wrong one. I'm not supposed to be here. Anyways. Uh, guarding someone who's headed to the mountains. <laughs> yes, that's right. I want you to protect my uncle. He's going through the Crone Trail. Hmm? Oh, he's traveling the bows, right? No, not exactly. He just wants to specifically go up to the Crony Trail. Oh, how come? Why would anyone want to just go there? He said something about looking for some rare plants up there. I'm sorry, I don't really know what he's talking about. Oh, okay then. Well, I think we should ask him directly then. Indeed. Please wait a moment while I... Oh, oh crap, I'm supposed to do something else already. Well, whatever. It sounded a lot simpler when we saw him on the, bu saw him on the bulletin board. I have a feeling that this isn't going to go well. Home trail is... An exceedingly dangerous place. I can't imagine anyone specifically wanting to go there. No kidding. We'll never know if we don't ask the old man, though. Oh, it looks like he's here. Huh? Where's your uncle? Well, it looks like he's already set out. What? Set out? For the crony trail? I assume? I think so, yes. I'd ask him to at least wait until you showed up. I don't know what's made him decide to just up and leave on his own, though. Well, it's not good. Not good at all. How would he go there alone? It's like asking for a monster to eat you. It'll be even more dangerous in the dark. Right? You should really be off the path by sundown. I'm sorry. You came all this way for basically nothing. Oh, don't worry about us. We're fine. I'm really sorry. I'll have a word with my uncle as soon as he gets back. Alright, so we gotta find her uncle, but first... Okay, um... I need those salty anchovies, and I have no idea where they're at. That's the restaurant in Inn. It's the general goods store. And it says that we can get the salty anchovies from here. <sighs> oh, here it is. And here I thought it was a dish. Well, 
Well, we got new dialogue since we're over here. Hmm, well, it's good to see... Yeah, it's good to see you come pie and play with the kids at the orphanage. It's as if they suddenly become everyone's grandchildren. I tend to prefer the quiet, but I don't mind that. All right. The kids from the orphanage seem to be getting a... Seem to be getting a bit of their old spirit back. I'm glad the girls were able to come over and play. What girls? The weather is perfect in scaling the mountain I've set my sights on, but I can't stop worrying about the kids from the orphanage. I still want to watch out for them, at least for a little while. I know I'm not the most dependable person around, but I have to do something. I guess we can go climbing as much as we want now. I can't say that either of us sees that as a bad thing. Well, it's almost time for the campus festival. I think the kids from the orphanage are going too. I just hope that they can forget about all this mess, at least for a little while. The orphans and Major Teresa are being well looked after, never you fear. We have to come together in times of trouble, you know? Oh, hello. I'm truly indebted to you for the multitude of reasons. The Minorians greatly appreciate all that you've done. I'm really grateful to everyone for all they've done. For sure. Oops. Oh my god. Sometimes turbo can be a hindrance. It's playing. Thanks for helping Clem. He can be a real pain sometimes. I'm sure I have lots of friends. I'm playing with everyone. wonder what's going on with dinner tonight. Everyone's doing better already. Nice. But elders? There's nothing left of the orphanage but rubble and ashes. Alright, that fire must have been super hot. There were so many memories made there. Um... I didn't realize Chloe was behind us. That was insane, All right? It seems that the yeah, it seems that the orphan children are recovering their spirits little by little. They settled in enough for yeah, they settled enough for me to hear them laughing from time to time. Now we're finally done with the first phase of cleaning up the site at the fire, but more importantly, someone did this on purpose. They have to pay for what they did. And the only currency I'll accept is black eyes. Terrible. Well, we used to have three people living under this roof, including Zack. Uncle Orvid moved out years ago, though. He does pop in from time to time whenever he has on, a, on the occasion. I wish Jack would get along a little better with him, though. Maybe he'd come by more often. Alright, so let me see where I gotta go to. All right. But we got to go up here. Oops. Did not mean to go over there. I don't know how the heck that happened. So before some crazy nonsense happens, I'm going to save right here so we can go back and get if we don't got what we got. If that makes sense. So we got his drink and we got his salty anchovy. This man climbs up all these steps every day. We're back! Oh! Aren't you them kids from before? Well, it's been a while since we last met. And today, we're here on another job. Uh, yeah, a request came in from the Bracer Guild, so we're here to deliver their maintenance kit. Here you go. It's a little heavy, though, so be careful lifting it. Ah, yep, everything's here, all right. I appreciate you bringing this all the way over here. Oh, no worries. It's our job, after all. Um, on another, on another note, we actually have something else for you. Oh? Here you are, sir. It was entrusted with some care from Prim yeah, care by Primo from Lavantar. Oh, my, my. It's a Lazalia Rose. I used to drink this all the time while munching on anchovy dishes. 
And I've got some of those for you, too. Oh! You even brought some... Yeah, you even brought some munchies to go with it. How thoughtful bracers you are. Man, that takes me back. How are Primo and the others? Are they doing well? You bet. They're all worried about you, too, Gramps. Work must be tough, so take care of yourself, okay? Don't overexert old bone, those old bones of yours. Ah, I won't. Well, blunt or no, thank you for your concern. I value that even more than the anchovies. So, does this mean that you're starting to understand what it means to possess a caring soul? Uh, nope, not really. I'm not good with those touchy-feely concepts, I guess. Well, I thought you did a fine job today. Of course, you could always do better. Oh, that reminds me. Wait right here for a moment, if you would. I have something for you. Something I once used a long, long time ago. I'd be pleased at, yeah, I'd be pleased as plum if you would accept these for bringing all these things here for me. They may be a little old, but like me, there's, they'll still do the job. Sure as the day you were born. Work helmet and a gladiator headband. If I remember correctly, I think gladiator headbands give you CP after every turn. I'm not sure. I don't remember. Well, awesome. Thanks. Uh, you sure? Yeah, you sure we can have these? Absolutely. Not like I'll be setting sail for, for wild exotic lands again anytime soon. Anyways, thank you for bringing the stuff all the way up here. Now, I'd best get back to work. I've basically been playing hooky this whole time. We've been talking. I stay here, yeah, I stay here even longer, and someone's bound to notice. Please take care of yourself. Take care, old coot. Please, excuse us. Oh, it's you kids again. Thank you for your hard work. Make sure to always show your consideration to others. All right, and then... Ah! This boy is getting chased by them things. <laughs> He's like, no! Uh, hey there! Help! I need help! Come on, Joshua! Right. And I think Joshua has that range on so we can hit all three. Yep. And this is over. White Gehenna for the win. I killed that one. And then this kills this one. Self-destruct. Well, that, that. that does take it. She winked at me. That girl don't know what she's doing. Olive oil times three. Well, it looks like we made it back just in or made it just in time. More likely by hair's breath. Ah, are you hurt, sir? Uh, not at all. I'm quite all right. Uh, thanks to you, I came out with nothing more than a few scratches. Hmm. Now, I could almost swear that I've seen the two of you somewhere before. The girl's homely face is especially familiar. Homely? Hey! But now that you mention it... Oh, I remember now. You're that country girl from Roland. You? You're that conniving merchant who was searching for those toxic mushrooms. Oh, that is him. Yeah, I had to think about it for a second. Estelle, he was a client, remember? Tone it down a bit. Hmm. It looks like even... Yeah, it looks like even now you still haven't learned how to show the slightest courtesy. It's exactly what I expect from someone raised in the boonies. How about you just shut your trap, you nasty old maniac? Or food maniac? No doubt you were out here hunting for more bizarre ingredients, right? I've already gathered the valuable wild vegetables I came here for. 
These exotic delectables are far more unique than even that firefly fungus. <laughs> With these in hand, my next business deal is sure to be a success. Back up, buddy. What do you mean by next business deal? Ha! <laughs> that firefly fungus didn't work out for you, did it? I'm not gonna listen to any more of your... pessimism. There just happened to be no demand for them at the time. That's all. Uh, not yet. End of story. Um, Estelle? When he mentioned the wild vegetables, did that bring anything to mind? Oh, right. Amelia, who... we met in a Minoria village. Amelia, you say? Yeah, that's my niece. That's my niece, but what does she have to do with any of this? Huh? Which means you're her uncle? It certainly looks that way. Why, is, yeah, has she done something? Actually, Amelia asked us to provide, uh, yeah, that we provide you your escort. But when we arrived in Minoria, you had already left. Is that so? I guess it wasn't very nice of me to take off like that. But it couldn't be helped. I had to come up here with a real eye catcher before my next business deal. And because of that, you almost ended up uh, being some monster's next meal. I'm pretty sure you can't do business deals while in the belly of a monster. Mm. And once we get back, you should apologize to Amelia. I'm sure she's worried sick about you. Alright, fine. I promise to talk to her after my next business deal in Grand Hill is done. Well, I think that would be good. Yeah, I think that would be uh, good to move... A good move on your part, too. Okay, let's get going. We'll escort you back to town. You have my thanks. I'm in your hands. Huh? This is splendid. I am greatly obliged to you for today. I do hope that the matter from earlier can be forgiven and forgotten. It would seem that we are united by fate. When next we meet, I hope we can see one another as business associates rather than mutual nuisances. I'm okay with that. What do you think, Estelle? Hmm. Sounds good to me. So, we're all on good terms again. The future successes. I'm very glad to hear you say that. Then perhaps we'll meet again on my next job. Alright, well, there's that. Um, is there a new dollar with her? Oh, the bracers. My uncle hasn't come home yet. No, it's alright. He's probably on his way to Ruan right now. Huh? What do you mean? Your uncle ran into some monsters and was uh, attacked while he was up on the crony trail. But don't worry, he didn't get hurt. Oh, thank goodness. I'm very sorry it's been such a burden. I just wish he would have stopped by the house before he left so we could talk things through as a family. He's a stubborn old man. Very set in his ways. Oh, you're the ones who helped my uncle, aren't you? Well, thank you for taking the time. I know you're busy. Good luck with your investigation into the orphanage case. Whoever's responsible for his needs to play in teeth. Dang. And All I right. believe I have to talk to the horrible guy first. Oops, I guess you managed okay. The delivery went pretty smoothly. And the old man is doing well. Ah, okay, sounds good then. Later then, I'll be in touch with if anything else comes up. Take care. See you later. Alright, so we did that. Now we can turn in all our quests. Clear, clear, clear. All right. Before we clear them, let me save just in case some craziness happens that I need to go fix. If I can fix it. All right. So let's see. Got four. All right. Three plus two. Nice. Next should be five. Five. All right. We should get seven next. All right, and then we should get three plus two. There we go. We got it all. Current rank, fourth class. Not much obliged. All right, guys. So we finished all of that. Um, Hopefully next time we'll go to the Genesis Academy. Um, If not, then I'll let you know what we're doing in the next part. But this was a long part, and I got a lot of editing to do. So that being said, I'll holler at y'all later. Peace.